Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Andy and the Andes. On today's episode, I wanna show you guys a little bit about what it's like to bike here in the city of Santiago. I recently finally got a bike, which is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, as a good alternative to taking public transport or trying to walk everywhere. So, today's episode might get a little bit dangerous because I'm gonna be trying to film a video while riding a bike. So, wish me luck. Come along and see how it is. So this is my bike. Um, I just picked it up a few weeks ago. I traded it to a friend and changed for some English classes. English classes that, well, they haven't happened yet, but got the bike for some English classes. Didn't have to pay a dime for it. Just traded a skill, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, so yeah, this is what I ride around on and let's hit the streets and see what it looks like. Let's go. guys so I'm here in front of the giant colorful robot llama um, tell you guys that now here in Santiago we are out of quarantine at least most of almost the entire city is out of the quarantine some places still have quarantine on the weekends um, but where I'm at right now in most parts of the city um, quarantine is not happening now these guys are still required but when you're out riding a bike you're doing sports you don't need it so during the pandemic, or I guess now after the pandemic, um, cycling has become a much more popular thing to do, I think. And I think it's going to become much more popular here in the city because people want to avoid taking public transport. They want to avoid taking the metro and taking the bus so that they don't get sick with coronavirus, right? So a much safer, easier, healthier form of transportation is bicycle. And so for that reason, there's tons of ciclovias or bike paths here in Santiago. And there's even more temporary ciclovias uh, for the pandemic that they're adding to help cyclists be able to get around easier and have an alternative to public transportation. So let's move on, let's keep riding, let's see what else we can find. So here you see M42K. This bike lane is called the Mapocho 42, which is a 42 kilometer long bike lane that runs along the Rio Mapocho, which is over there all the way through Santiago, from Vitacura way up there, all the way down to the Plaza Italia, and even further on. So that's where we're gonna head right now, is that way. So let's go. guys so I'm here standing in front of Plaza Italia if you notice right there there's a statue of a man on a horse this is the center of Santiago it's the center of the city and it's where everything happens um, under less than a year ago there was a major social protest a major uh, breakout of protests and violence that happened here and this was the focal point um, just last March right before the pandemic started over I think a million nearly two million women gathered here in this space for the International Women's Day. Um, as you can see behind me over here is the Torre Movistar. This is an iconic uh, section, an iconic area of Santiago. Anybody who comes here is definitely gonna have to stop by and check it out. Um, if there's something happening, you can be sure that it's gonna be happening here.
I'm very hungry. I'm on the search for an empanada. I need to find a mini market or an almacén or someone who can give me a delicious Chilean snack. Let's see what we find. All right, guys, I have found the mini market. And according to the sign, they have empanadas and sandwiches. So let's see what we can get. All right, guys, I have finally acquired a delicious Chilean snack. I have a nice, warm empanada. So let's go. Mmm. Perfect. So this guy has got, let's see, it's got some meat, some cheese, some oregano. It's a Napolitana. So that's like an Italian style, like a pizza. And it's really good. So only 1200, which is like, I don't know, a dollar fifty maybe in US something like that. All right guys, well it's time to hop back on the bike, finish my workout and head back home. So check out some more of my ride and I'll see you next time. Alright guys, well I am almost home, so that is going to conclude it for this episode of Andy and the Andes. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows to suggest it to more people. And if you want to see more videos like it, I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching Andy and the Andes. Whew. I'm tired. I'll see you next time.